Howdy folks, this is my Wantable subscription box that I got for the month of September. Um, this is the makeup subscription. Wantable is a company that has um, boxes that they provide um, through their subscription service that you pay $36 a month, I think it is, and they send you um, like four to five different choices of makeup things. What's cool about Wantable is it is super duper customizable. Um, they give you a list of products that you can like and dislike. Um, for example, um, my list I have that I love eyeliner and lip color and I like blush, but I dislike the rest of the products. Um, the reason that I have nail polish, mascara, bronzer, eyeshadow, brows and things are, those are just products that I was heavy on and um, that I decided for this month that I maybe wanted to not do but you can go in you can change it around if next month you want to get some mascara because you're running out um you can really really um tailor it to your likes and dislikes and also the company has some super awesome customer service and they are really um great about if you contact them and say i just can't wait to try such and such a product um they will work with you to make sure that you get a brand that is a must-have in your box. So uh, particularly Kayla, um, there's a customer representative. I think she's their team lead. Um, she has been superb and super, super duper nice to me. Um, I hadn't had a great wonderful experience in the past, but this box, um, I feel like, really made up for that particular box. And this wasn't even a box that I particularly requested anything. I just happened to get two bands brands, excuse me, that I really wanted to try and that I was really, really excited about. So um, here we go. Uh, there is packaging in the box now, uh, which makes it a lot more sturdy. It's this foamy stuff. Um, I was excited to see that because the boxes are now um, sort of a plain white with just the W for the Wannable logo on them. Uh, the first thing I'll show you is the bonus that I got this month. It is um, Skin Cosmetics. It's an instant skin tightener and line filler. This was just a little extra thing that they happened to include in the purchase. Um, I'm going to talk a little tiny bit about the products and I have some swatches on my hands so um, excuse me for having makeup all over my hands while I talk about these but I think it's the best way to sort of show you. Um, the first thing is the Lisa, I think it's, um, oops sorry about that, uh, Wattier or um, Wattier. I'm not sure how you say it. Um, I'm not even sure if it's Lisa or if it's Lise, but um, however it is, um, French company probably. <laughs> um, it's the Hydra Shine Lip Stain. And um, that's this product right here. And what is nice about it is it has this um, nice uh, marker tip to it. And at first, I thought it was going to be um, sort of just, you know, common and like um, a lot of lip stains that are from other companies. I thought it would be more like a drugstore brand. But the color payoff, as you can see on the top there, is really spectacular. And that was just a couple of swipes with it. And it just has such a beautiful, beautiful pigment to it. Um, really great color. And I was completely stunned and I know I'm going to love it. I love lip stains. I love the staying power, the lasting power from them and just think they're great. Um, the second one, um, the sort of sheer nude color lipstick there that looks a little bit metallic. I think it's more glossy than metallic, although it's showing up on my hand as having a little bit of sparkle in it. Um, that second one down would be this girl here. It's the... Um, another brand that I don't quite know how to say, Mana Kedar, uh, Mana Kedar, um, however you say it, that particular lipstick. Um, the color of this, uh, the color of the Lisa Wadier was fuchsia, by the way. This one um, is Savoir Faire, is the name of this color. It's um, just a barely pinky um, beige tone nude, and like I said, it is a little bit sheer. It's very glossy. Um, and they just have a very plain sort of black packaging, although they do have an elegant look to their package. Um, and it just has their Beauty Simplified uh, logo on it. 
Um, the weird thing about it is it does come in these boxes. They're just completely black. They have the um, ingredients on them, but they do not list the company anywhere, which I thought was a little bit strange. But I honestly, even when I took it out of the package for the first few times, I didn't even see, um, oops, sorry about that, the Manicator logo. But there it is. I'm done. And I missed it. Uh, I also put down for this month that I would really like to try um, some cream blushes. Honestly, I was hoping I would get um, the Besame or Besame or however you say that one, who knows, product, um, but I ended up getting this, um, Mana, uh, cream blush, too, and it's actually, um, a very, very pretty pink color. Packaging is real nice, um, it's got a very pretty sheen to it, and I swatched that one on the back of my hand, too. Um, there is just a couple of dots on it on my hand and there it is blended out um it seems like it would be um a very moisturizing it still has a little bit of gloss to it even when it's blended in um which is good for me because i have really dry skin so um this type of blush works well and a little goes um a long long way with the cream based blushes uh, let me see what the color is on that one. It's called Sweet Cheeks, is what the particular blush color is called. Um, next thing, we have the Kaylin Liquid Eyeliner. I really like their packaging. Um, they come in these sort of boxes, but it's almost impossible to get these boxes open sometime. I have a real problem with it. I guess I'm just not super skilled in the box opening. Um, this particular liquid liner, um, the, oops, it's, it's a very, um, sparkly, sparkly is the wrong word, shimmery, I think is actually a better word, color, um, the color name is Blue Shimmer, so, hmm, big surprise, okay, um, this one, if I can get it out. I was having problems with it before. Um, it has a very, um, I guess it has a harder tip to it than I'm used to in a liquid liner of this sort. It's not a brush at all. It is like a harder piece of um, silicone, perhaps. I'm not quite sure what it is. But um, the, the line... As you can see, it's got a lot of um, shimmer to it, almost a sparkle. Uh, the line, it was just hard to make a line with this product. I don't know um, if it will be easier or if it's just one of those things that you have to experiment with. I mean, you can get the line, obviously, as you can see down at the bottom there. You can get it really skinny and you can get it um, the sort of big wash of color was using the the side of the brush so it is possible to get a lot of different line variation but I feel like there are some almost cuts in the color that come from the brush and you have to go over it and over it again there's a good example of it down on the bottom where you have color on either side and then sort of the shadow of the color behind it um, I don't know if this will be my favorite. I have a Stila um, liquid liner in a blue glitter that I actually love. So um, this is similar in color, but I will definitely give it a shot. Um, I have some of their gel liners that I got from previous boxes from different services, and um, I like them just fine. So, you know, maybe I'll end up loving it. Um, my favorite uh, thing in the box is this. Like I said, is it Besame? Is it um, Besame? Is it... I don't have any idea. Um, it's Gabriela Hernandez, um, so maybe it's Besame. But um, it's the classic color lipstick, and the color that I got is called Chocolate Kiss. Um, the packaging is incredible. I love these bullies... bullies what am I talking about? Bullet style, sort of um, 40s and 30s inspired um, lipstick packages. Uh, the 
lipstick itself has a unique shape. Um, the good thing about the shape is that you can sort of use the edge as lip liner and then you can use the um, side of the lipstick itself to sort of fill in anything. And it also has a beautiful um, rounded lip with this pretty um, floral pattern on it. And you get this super awesome -y, awesome little velvet bag. I don't know why. Oops, sorry about that. I find this so intriguing that it comes with a velvet bag, but I do. I think it's super great. So uh, there you have it. Oops, I forgot to show you the swatch. That's the Chocolate Kiss. Um, it looks sort of... I'm very fair, so it looks um, sort of vampy and dark on me. But um, all in all, it was actually not a bad color for me at all. I thought it was going to be too much, but it ended up being sort of just right. So there again, uh, Lisa Wadier, uh, Mana Kedar, and um, Besame lipsticks, and the Kaylin eyeliner, as well as the Mana Kedar Sweet Cheeks um, blush cream on my hands. So... Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, Wannable is a very, like I said, their customer service has been super stellar to me. Um, they've replaced a box where I had issues with um, the jewelry in the past when I got those boxes because they had um, a couple of broken pieces in it. But um, this time it was superb and like I said you can really talk to the people and you can develop a relationship with the company which is I think super awesome uh, I pay for this with my own money I don't I'm not affiliated with them in any way I just wanted to talk about my great experience so I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you'll check out Wannable uh thank you for watching